because each each uh, organism here has its own specific DNA sequence, RNA sequence. Then we use a technology called PCR, polymerase chain reaction, you know, uh, to amplify the sequence uh, millions or tens of millions of times. So for the instrumentation, you can detect it in a signal, you know, specific for the coronavirus 2019. So that's uh, basically the concept of tests. In the past uh, two weeks, we've been working full time. Essentially, we uh, gave up our uh, 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 rest time, you know, for the uh, traditional Chinese holiday, right? We, everybody comes back to the company for uh, developing the tests. And now finally, we have these tests, and now we are uh, doing the clinical trials, trying to push it to the market, and also a regulatory approval. Basically, we can use uh, um, a throat, the sampling from the, which we use this, you know, to collect. Basically, it's a cotton swab or other swab on your throat to collect your uh, mucus or the uh, cell samples which are infected by the virus. Or we can use blood. And from the sampling to report, our test can get it done in 1.5 hours. Our format, uh, we have two formats, you know, one is called real-time or qPCR, you know, and our format is called digital PCR, or called DDPCR. So for the uh, real-time PCR format, it's more uh, high throughput. So it, each time you can detect, theoretically, it can detect 96 samples. However, for our digital PCR platform, we can detect eight or 10 samples each batch. So the throughput is lower. However, there's a trade-off for lower throughput, but it has much higher sensitivity than the, the real-time PCR. That's why we are developing both platforms, you know.